Hello again. Today I'm reviewing Anya and the Secrets of Coppola by N.A. Cauldron. First of all, I'd like to thank the author for sending me an advanced reader's copy of this book in return for an honest review. This title will be released on November 14th. I was a little leery about this book just because I wasn't crazy about the cover art. On occasion, I may have mentioned that I do judge books by their covers. Give me a gorgeous cover and I will jump at a book. Granted, some books with good covers do turn out to be terrible, while some books with not so great covers turn out to be pretty good. That's what happened with Anya. This is a fun story about three friends, Anya, Gavin, and Taika, who discover their kingdom's 200 year old secret. And magic. They also get into their fair share of trouble and adventure along the way, including a troll, some lava lizards, and getting on their monarch's bad side. The characters are fun. Taika the bookworm and master planner, Anya, who doesn't quite know what she wants out of life yet, and Gavin, who is such a boy. And to think I was concerned with your feelings. What feelings? I don't have any feelings. Anya and Taika rolled their eyes. Boys, right? Told mostly from Anya's perspective, we get a lot of detail into her family's poor life and her tough job in the royal kitchen. It was surprising just how much we get to see of Anya's life and job throughout the entire story instead of just the expected introductory bit that we're accustomed to, since it's not directly related to the adventure secret side of the story. On the one hand, it's refreshing to see life go on as normal for the kids, considering they are the only three people in the entire kingdom who knows what's going on. But there are times that the extent of detail does feel a little out of place just because of its lack of impact on the bigger story or the characters. In addition to investigating the 200 year old mystery, we also get to see Anya deal with average kid problems like the bully Canis, her annoying older brother, and getting into trouble with her mother. We also get to see her deal with some not-so-average responsibilities. At the beginning of the story, Anya gets a better paying job than the rest of her family, and readers will be able to watch her handle this with maturity. I loved seeing this kind of responsibility handed to a young protagonist. It will translate well for kids to see someone their own age, taking on such an important, if unexciting, role in their family. Any book can hand a kid a grand, life-changing destiny. But it's nice to see that same kid cleaning the house and cooking dinner for the family on her day off. Maybe it will give readers an idea. The story ends in a good spot, giving you most of the answers that you want, but leaving just enough to explore so you want to know what happens next. Now that I'm finished with this book, I think I'm going to pass it along to some of my nibblings. See? You learn something new every day. While the writing is not quite as stellar as I enjoy, I have to remind myself that it's intended for middle graders, who are not going to be as picky as me. This will be a good book for younger readers who love fantasy or are just getting into it. It has flavors of both Sorcerer's Stone and the Spiderwick Chronicles, while the main characters themselves remind me a lot of the Ever After's Triumvirate, especially with the dance lessons that Anya gets, which was probably my favorite scene in the entire book. Gosh, I am such a girl. I give this book three out of five stars and this book is ant approved. Word. Anya and the Secrets of Coppola by N.A. Cauldron will be released on November 14th. The ebook is currently available for pre order at Amazon.com and the paperback is available for pre order at www.nacauldron.com. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Au revoir.